Ugh. Come on! Get the rats out of my cellar for five gold? That's so much work for chump change! <sighs> There's absolutely nothing on this board! That's normal. We stopped checking it months ago. Hmm. No, you don't understand. The guild is- In trouble? Let me guess. We owe too much money this month? How did you know? Did you forget what guild you're in? Your move. <sighs> 30 seconds. That's a new record. Honestly, Rex. Why do you think we sit around the guild hall all day? We're not exactly in... high demand. I'm not letting stupid Rose get one over on us! <laughs> Gather everyone. It's time we settle this. We're already here. Ah. You got this, Rex. You got this. <sighs> okay. We need money. Go. This is how you pull for ideas? Oh, I've got one. Why don't you just publish a book? Authorial royalties are nothing to scoff at. I'm too stupid. Well, with my idea, you don't have to be a genius to... I still think we should steal the money. That's still illegal, Gwen. Didn't you steal an airship? Touché. I guarantee my idea is strictly legal. Hazel? You got anything? <clears throat> Never mind. Suddenly, Deacon leaps from his chair and wraps his arm around your shoulders. Picture this, bud. Piles and piles of gold coins right at your fingertips. You walk down the street, coins spilling from your car, but you don't care. You've got more in your vault back home. As you're on your way to hire your 14th personal chef, a woman stops you on the road. Oh, Monsieur Rex, how did you get so wealthy? You smirk as you answer. Why, young lady, I simply provide something that no one else can live without. Bottled water. Stick with me, Rex, and we'll be the wealthiest... And I've heard enough. This is just another one of your harebrained scams, isn't it? Scam? Why, I've never been more insulted, Aubrey. My idea is a totally legitimate business strategy. Rex, don't enable this guy. He's just gonna land you in a heap of trouble and then leave you to claw your own way out. Don't listen to that naysayer, Rex. Don't you trust me? Um, I have no baseline of trust here. But, you said 14 personal chefs, right? Hey, you're the boss. You make the calls. Sweet! Finn, Gwen, do you guys want to help out? Of course. Whatever you need. 
Not like I had anything better to do. Why not? Cool, then let's... Hold it! I'm coming too. Uh, you are? Someone's gotta keep an eye on Deacon. He's always up to something. Why, I'd never... Ugh, zip it. Let's just see what happens, I guess. Okay! Let's make some money! Oh, <gasps> okay. I think that's everything set up. I thought we were just selling water. We are. Why is it orange? Showmanship. Yeah, you're gonna have to explain this a bit more. Well, people aren't gonna just buy water without a reason. That's why we need to dress it up. When they come looking for our products, we tell them that they're so widely colored because they can influence their emotions. Our sunshine tonics are perfect for a warm summer day, and our verdant tinctures can put a smile on their face. But isn't this just... colored water? Yes, well, it's all about believing. If they think they'll do what we say, then they will. Oh wow, who could have seen this coming? Of course it's a scam. What? It's not a scam! How is this a scam? You're not seriously asking that, are you? This seems... highly illegal. Nonsense! Surely someone here understands what I'm getting at. How about you, Rex? Yeah... I'm so lost right now. Straight up, I have no idea what's going on. Ah, look alive, everyone! Our first customer is approaching! Watch and learn, my friends. Oh, our first customer? Where are they? What exactly am I looking at right now? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Welcome, madam, to our humble little stall. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um. Uh, uh, hey, Deacon, maybe not this one. Nonsense, friend. What kind of merchant would I be if I didn't sell to every customer who came my way? And what exactly is it that you sell, Silver Moon? Why, only the finest and most refreshing concoctions in all of Cloudreach. Just one sip from our masterfully crafted beverages and you'll find your mood immediately lifted. Here, how about you give this one a try? On the house. This is the most obvious scam I've ever heard. Ah, oh, crap. Not only are you upcharging the price of these so-called concoctions, but you're doing it without a license. <laughs> really, out of all your attempts to climb out of debt, this by far has to be your most pathetic. Hey, maybe you'd have more success begging on the side of the road. Hell, I'd even consider throwing you a coin or two out of pity. And then again, who'd want to support the continued operation of the worst guild in the city? Maybe they'd just give scraps of food, since you'll be homeless soon enough anyway. You know what? I wouldn't mind that. Can you mind it a little more? Pack up this stall and get out of here before I have you arrested. And if I catch you trying something like this again, I'll cuff you myself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm sick of looking at you. Way to go, Deacon. You know, it's one thing to try to scam a bunch of innocent civilians. It's another to drag your guildmates into it with you. That one was a bust, but hey, that's okay. I say we head a few streets over and try again. Did you listen to a single word I said? Not for nothing, Deacon, but... That's a horrible idea. Not on board with the idea anymore? That's totally fine. I've got a bunch more we can try. Let me see it here. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, this one has legs. Excuse me, young ones? Uh, huh? You turn around and find an older gentleman standing nearby. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Are you from Silvermoon, by chance? Uh-huh. Rex, say something other than huh. Yes, sir! 
We're official members of Silver Moon. Is there anything we can help you with? Ah, excellent. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Henry Whitaker. I would like to hire all of you, if you'd be so interested. Huh? Ha! Who's saying it now, huh? You, uh, sure you don't have us confused with someone else? No, not at all. I'm quite certain I wish to hire the guild Silver Moon. Why? You're doing a great job of selling us, Gwen. If you really know who we are, I think we'd be the last people you'd want to hire. Listen here, children. I would like you all to act as security detail for my estate. I have many valuables in my summer villa, and I fear there may be thieves after some of my most precious belongings. Now, my original hire is currently predisposed and left my entire estate guardless. And yes, while I could hire a guild such as Goldstar, I can't say I exactly trust them considering the circumstances. I'm willing to pay you all quite handsomely for your efforts, if you'd be so inclined. Ooh, pay and handsomely are two words I quite like next to each other. Hmm. On one hand, we could use the money. But on the other hand... Hmm. I don't know. This kind of feels sketchy. Last time someone asked for my help, they tried to kill me. While you're in my employ, you'd be granted lodging, access to all my leisurely activities, and even three square meals a day. Deal! You had me at meals! That was the last thing I said. And it's a good thing you said it! So, when do we start? I can't believe you convinced me to get on this train. You're still worried? Duh. Some rich noble walks up to us and offers up a high-paying job to the worst guild right when we need it. Something's off. The guy seems paranoid. He can't trust Gold Star? I mean, me neither, but you have to see my point. You don't think the thieves he was talking about are real? I don't know. If that guy lived in that estate alone all day, he might have heard some scratching at his window and freaked out. Old people are like that. Well, if there's anything better than a high-paying job, it's an easy high-paying job. I doubt it comes without a hitch. Nobles always have a hidden agenda. Come on, Gwen. Not everything is a conspiracy. You should be more trusting of people. Shall I remind you of Sartan? That doesn't count. Let's just enjoy ourselves. I know I will. And my best bud Rex will too, isn't that right? Heck <laughs> yeah, I'm excited! Leisurely activities from a rich guy have gotta be fun! I bet they'll suck. We've never even heard of this guy. His house is probably some shabby cabin in the middle of the woods. I take it all back. Best job ever. I'll have my attendants bring your things to your rooms. In the meantime, you all may do as you please. Hey! That one was my- Sorry! Mind helping? Nah, if Aubrey can solo it, so can you. I will win this boat race! I didn't know we were racing. Are we in last? Nah. I'm too young to die! Stop! Get it! Me! Let out! No! no! Who needs a bow? Ugh.
Get used to this. Hmm. Hey, Shay. You better not plan on lounging around for the rest of your life. Why not? This is way more fun than fighting. No! No, it isn't! Nothing is more fun than fighting. The thrill of the battle, the adrenaline rush from the risk of death. This is just... sad. Your harsh words have no power over me, spirit. I am an enlightened man. You're a moron. Same thing. Our deal demands you keep fighting. For what? So you can get stronger and inevitably take me over? If I never get in another fight, I'll never be in danger. I don't need to make you stronger anymore. And that means... You'll never be able to possess me. <sighs> so what? Your plan is to retire? With perks like these? Maybe. <sighs> How boring. Anyway, get used to my new life. Maybe take up a hobby. Like... Bird watching. Since you're just an eye. May I come in? Okay. Everyone's grown complacent. It's like they're blinded by the luxuries of high life. Oh no! What does that mean? It means we're wasting our time. We should be done with this job by now. We've been here for two weeks. There's been no signs of break-in, no intruders, there's no one out here except for us. This Henry guy isn't gonna pay us until the threat is resolved. But there's no threat. He's just paranoid. The more time we spend watching this guy's house, the less time we're spending doing jobs. Staying here is a waste of our time. It's not going to save Silver Moon. I tried telling Finn, but he told me I needed to take it easy and just trust him. He didn't even listen to what I had to say. I even tried talking to Aubrey since she first mentioned the guy being paranoid, but even she's been won over. I had to shout through a bathroom door to get her attention because she was taking her third bath of the day. No one's listening to me. What about Deacon? Screw that guy. Anyway, come on, Rex. Let's go drag everyone out of here and get back to Cloudreach. Uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, 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 about that... You're kidding. I'm having fun, Gwen! Can't we just stay a little while longer? Please? Pretty please! <sighs> you know, I understood it from everyone else, but you? This one hurts. Uh, Quinn. Sleep well, Rex. Uh, Gwen! What did I say? Man. Whatever, I'm 
I'm, I'm, I'm sure she'll feel better tomorrow, right? Yeah. She get changed and get to bed. Whew. Tomorrow's another day full of excitement. And I'll, uh... I'll, I'll figure that out later, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. Jammy time! This again. <laughs> Kinda thirsty. Guess I'll go get a drink. Got it. Hey. Ah! S -s 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 Silver Moon? Ah, my reputation precedes me. That's right. You're looking at the mighty Rex of Silver Moon. Don't worry. I'll make your beating quick. I've got a lot planned tomorrow. And I'm not going to let you get in the way of that. Y yeah. Well, I've got something to even the playing field. Mm -hmm. With this, I'll be able to take it out for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it nice one. Uh, sh just shut up. I, I don't. I don't know why that just. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. That may have hurt like crap, but that doesn't matter. I got you right where I want you. No, uh You don't even have a weapon. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Crap. Okay, well, I still have a plan. And what's that, huh? Dang it. Rex, are you okay? There are thieves. One was in there. He was kind of wimpy, but he had this crazy strong thing and... Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Good. <sighs> The entire estate is untouched, but they broke into this room in particular. It is as I feared. I know what they are after. What? Come here. <gasps> Wait just a moment. I know that woman. That's Aurora Sinclair, the famous painter. I wonder who painted this. She did. What? I thought Aurora Sinclair never made any self-portraits. That's what makes this painting one of a kind. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Of course you are paranoid. People really are after your stuff. This painting has to be priceless. Indeed. One of my fellow aristocrats saw this painting at my last event. 
He expressed an interest in purchasing it, but I refused. The way the man acted afterwards led me to believe he was willing to do whatever it took to obtain it. And I was right. <clears throat> if you can apprehend the thieves, I'd be quite grateful. Especially if you can do it before the party at the end of the week. Wait, what? A party? Stop. You need to cancel this party. Yeah! Thieves just broke into your house! You need to postpone the party, otherwise it's the perfect opportunity for them to break in and- No. Thieves or no, this party will happen. This is non-negotiable. I will inform a maid to repair this door. The rest of you should retire. It's late, and I'm certain there are things you'd like to do tomorrow. Rest well, Silver Moon. That guy's dramatic. All right, friends, listen up. I just got an idea. Screw the job. This painting is priceless. If we take it for ourselves, we can sell it for a boatload of money. What? No. How would we even get away with that? Rex said it himself. There are thieves after it. We can just say they stole it. We're the ones watching the painting. If we said that, Henry would know we failed. Come on, we're Silver Moon. What's new? Ugh. I can't believe you. I knew you were a sleaze ball, but I didn't think you were this bad. Yeah, man. Not cool. It's a terrible idea. Aw, oh, come on. We need the money. Right, Rex? Um. This discussion is stupid. I'm going to bed. Come on, Rex. Yeah, I'm going to sleep too. You better not try any funny business, Deacon, or I'm gonna knock your head off your shoulders! I get where you're coming from, but there's better ways of making the money. Let's do the right thing. I'm a freak when I'm talking to myself But it's like I was too weak to be someone else You could think that I'm a creep when I'm singing all along But it's like I couldn't see straight on my own When I fall, it start again And when I feel like I'm just dead And when I call It comes again And now I see It's in my head yeah. There's something that saved me all the time In my self It appears when I Breaking down like a whisper in my head. I'm from my tongue, nowhere. Like a whisper in my head when I've got something to share. 